We're back. We're, Rich here. we're here. We're doing it. We're doing it. Rich Ramirez, co-host Brandon Booty, East Rosebud Studios, not live. Talked about uh, my spot in Long Island, Bahamas on the last episode. My vacation. God, I drank so much fucking Kalik. You know, Kalik is, is the bohemian beer. It's like... Kalik. Um, Kalik. K-A-L-I-K. It's the sound of cowbells. Kalik. 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 It's 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 a it's it's a it's a sissy enough beer even I can fucking drink it. You understand that? Does it, does it just taste like beer? Just like light beer? Yeah, it's, it, it is, but it's delicious and it's smooth, and you can just pound the hell out of them. Plus, it's Bohemian. I don't I don't think they export it. Maybe they do. I've never seen it here, but it's 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 kind of a tradition to go there and drink Kalik. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you ever you know you know what the term Rattler means? I don't. Fuck Rattler is like Kalik. This company. Is making like these kind of fruity type alcohol things. It's it, motherfucking. It's only two percent alcohol, which you know I'm fucking Ozzy Osbourne here. Two percent don't even fucking move yeah. the dial for so me, you, right? Why well, drink it? No. Well, because you know why? Because it's like a motherfucking Jolly Rancher in a bottle. Oh, so they taste. Yeah, good. Oh, okay. God, they're delicious. It's 95 degrees out there, yeah, and I yeah. mean, you know, you get a little fruity. I mean, you know, they're good. They're the, the Kalik Rattlers. We drank a lot of those too. Nice. I drank a lot that week, actually. Well, you have to if it's two percent. <laughs> you're right but two percent's what i can fucking handle so anyway so it was a good trip in the bahamas but but i want to get back to a different subject here um i want to talk about the number one irritant i have as a fly shop owner let's hear it let's hear it. this is interesting yeah number one irritant that i have as a fly shop owner and you know what it is people showing you pictures that's actually a good that's a great guess that's that's a great guess no no it's not i this bothers me way more okay fucking time wasters how are they wasting their time by not buying something oh, and fucking wasting my time in here walking around for 30 uh, minutes. you know it, it's more than that it, it you know you know some i mean that's a that's a good that's a good comment on but the, it's more than that okay i'm talking about somebody who takes my salespeople's time and don't spread any coin. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking sorry. I mean, again, this is a revealing part of this podcast. But, you know, you're going to get the real deal from me, even if it costs me some business. The bottom line is, you know, me and my guys, we're here to make money. And you can imagine, you can just imagine the different dynamics of people wasting our time. Right? This is a very small segment of fishing. Fly fishermen are a very small segment of the population. Right? So somebody coming in here, you know, they're going to be a fly angler, or they're going to want to be, yeah. or, or they're, they're here for somebody that is, or just whatever. There's, nobody motherfucking walks in here and just like, you know, oh, God, this is a fishing store, huh? Um, what kind <laughs> of fishing, sir? You know, I mean, yeah. it's, it, it's very specialty. So, and in the, in the global marketplace, where you can get anything anywhere now, dudes like me almost get a little bit protectionism when it comes to certain things, and... The time waster that bugs me the fucking most is the waiter and boot customer. That that's the one that like that that's the one that really gets me. You yeah, know, for a yeah. dude signing a check, a wage check. You know, I I got a good staff over there that it, that I'm letting sell waiters and boots because he or she is competent. Okay. Yeah. And this motherfucker ain't buying them. Oh, um, gosh, I gotta I gotta think about that. I gotta. I gotta justify that expense. And, and I'm so sitting there going, motherfucker, you, you, in, right? you didn't see that white sticker on that fucking tag, huh? We can justify that expense. See, and I feel like a lot of people are trying them on, and then you know what I mean for size. And I, then, I, well, it's fun. And then what? What are you saying? Then they go buy them elsewhere. I mean, who knows? Why well, are they coming here doing that? Well, you know? that's that's the other thing. You know, I mean, in my career as a fly angler, I have probably had I don't know. 10, 12, 15 pair of waders. I mean, you know, over 25 plus years. I, maybe less, but, you know, I mean, I've had some, right? Yeah. And the idea that I'm going to fucking walk into a fly shop, try some motherfucking waders or boots on, and not fucking get a pair, unless these motherfuckers just goose egged me. They didn't have anything that I needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I, that just, I mean, what fucking man does that? Yeah, God, yeah. God, no women do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god toughest sale i have is a women's waiter sale yeah i don't mind yeah. saying it i don't mind saying it you know i'm gonna i'm gonna actually i'm gonna explain that i'm gonna explain that if you're listening to this and i know you're not 
talking to women here. If you're legit, meaning you know what you're doing, you are an easy waiter sale because you fucking get it. Yeah, you already know what you want. You, well, it's you know more I mean? than that. They know what they need. Yeah, they know yeah, that yeah, they yeah. need room. They know that they you know they know what they need in order for the waiters to work. But the gals that are kind of just getting into the sport. I mean, the motherfucker. They think they're at fucking TJ Maxx or something. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, I get it. That's sexist. It is. But it, you know, it's true. I've lived it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're 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 in here dealing with it. I've lived it. I've looked at my staff who have been helping somebody that have got four pairs of something out, and I'm over there halfway across the store saying, "No fucking more." Do not bring down any more boots. Do not bring any more waiters. Are you kidding me? You're already 45 minutes into this and it's going nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Right? So time wasters for me, waiters and boots are just the absolute tops, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. man, it's 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 it, it's it's such a it's such a it's such a beat down when somebody doesn't reward you with the sale. And most of the time they do. It isn't like, you know, you get this a lot necessarily, but I mean I've literally had people say, yo, I've got a credit at Sims. And I, I, I need to I need to know if, you know, the large long twelve thirteen or the large long nine eleven is ideal. Can I just try those fucker? You know. And I've literally I've literally looked at people and said, "Fuck no." <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. I mean, no. I mean, they're my waiters. They're for my customers that buy them from me, right? You know. I, I had somebody, a gal, want to try on a couple of different sizes in a waiter because she had bought a different size from some online entity and I'm sitting there going I mean you know not calling out size here but I'm sitting there going when in the fuck did you think you were a medium I mean you know I'm I, well I listen I'm just I'm only I'm only saying that because 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 that's kind of isn't that the consequence isn't that the consequence when you're buying fucking waders online? Yeah, 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 exactly. I you mean, should have came in here and bought well, it. Well, all that. I said to her, I said, how about this? How about I get you those pairs down, you buy those waders from me, and then you return those fucking waders that you got to return and get your money back anyway. Yeah. Um. No, I had a gift certificate. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. Well, no thanks. You know, yeah, the, yeah. Thing, the thing about this is, is that, and again, Somebody could watch this and think, God, what an arrogant fucker. How are they going to know what size they, you know, if they don't try them on and, and, you know, everybody's a different size and, okay. But here's the thing. I know what I'm fucking doing. You know, you, you come into my shop and you talk to me about what you want. I'm going to fucking get you into what you want and what you need. Not what I want to sell you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's a trade off for that bitch. And I don't mean bitch like gal. I meant just bitch, period. Right? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. We're, you're a bitch. I'm a bitch. That kind of thing. Um, and you got to pay for that. You have to pay for my wall of fucking waiters by buying them. Yeah. And, you know, for the record, I don't pay my guys 13 bucks an hour. So when they spend 30, 45 minutes an hour... And it results in nothing in terms of a tough sale. Waiters and boots are not tough, but from a fit standpoint, if you don't know what you're doing, they're tough. Yeah. Because a consumer is only going to sit there and try on so much shit. Yeah. I mean, if they're real, if they're really going to fucking buy something, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, but, you know, the people that are fucking, oh, honey, just drop me off while you're at Costco. I've been kind of looking at those zipper waiters, and I'm not going to fucking get any today, but yeah. I want to find my size out. I want to... I want to find my size out because I'm never going to fucking buy them anyway. Yeah, you probably got a lot of husbands. I don't want to go to Costco to drop me off the fly shop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus, Lord. So so the waiter part is particularly hard. And the reason that the waiter part is the hardest is because of how long it takes. Yeah. And the wage yeah. dollars. Now, does somebody come in and try some shit on, not buy it, and come back and buy it? Yes. Yeah. But that is not even fucking close to the majority. Not yeah. even close. Not even not even close, right? Not even close. So, so you know, number two on the time waster irritant list is the dude who fucking doesn't buy any bugs who asks you for fly suggestions. Right? Yeah, it don't make no sense. Mother, you know, what, 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 here, here, you know here, here's your classic Bubba. Here's your, here's your classic Bubba intro. What are they hitting on? Well, where are you going? And it starts. And I get after about, you know, maybe two minutes, three minutes. 
I'm saying, you know, get some of these hares ears in a 14 and get this Batman in a 12 and maybe some of these turds a little bigger, eights or tens, whatever. That motherfucker ain't got a cut in his hand. I'm I'm now, you know, looking to exit stage left. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's, it, it's amazing to me how people aren't perceptive to that in the sense that, you know, you go to fucking Walgreens, you might not, not even get helped. Yeah. And in my shop, you get helped. Yeah. Okay. And and when it comes to the fly thing, like I said, it's like you're not you're not you're not picking up any of these turds I'm I'm, I'm laying out for you here, buddy. See you later, right? There's there's only one bug customer. I don't I don't mean to interrupt you. There's only one bug customer, one time waster, right? That's worse than what I just described. And that's the motherfucker that comes in and says, "Hey, can you look through these eight fly boxes that I brought in and tell me which one of these are going to work this afternoon?" And people do that. Oh fuck! Oh my god! I you know I'm to the point now where I just look at a guy and I and, and it's it's respect, but it's it's straightforward. It's like, dude, I I sell flies. Like they're not gonna work. But I, <laughs> I I sell flies. Put your fucking salmon flies away, Gomer. You know I mean who they don't they don't have a fucking clue what they got there. Motherfucking you know goddamn you know Atlantic salmon flies or something. So you know that that that's that's a that's a part of this that like I said they want your time. They want your knowledge. They want your expertise. And they won't even pity bug sale you. Won't even give you the pity. The yeah, pity I can't sale. that's crazy if people are doing that. that I can't believe crazy. you didn't see that during your time here. I mean, I probably did. I was probably just oblivious, you know. I probably didn't think about it, you know. Number three. And this is the, the biggest sissy part of a time waster. Okay, I'm calling them out as a sissy. I've got to think about it. But you, you got to fucking think about it, you know. I mean, you got to fucking think. Think about what? Think about you know, you know, sealing the deal on something that got your fucking ass in here to begin with. Exactly. Like you should know. You should know. You you got you want to buy it you, before you go shopping the, the, for it. The dude. I mean, the dude. He ain't got. He he's got too much time on his hands. You're in here. You, there it is. You want it. You can do it. Buy it. Yeah. Right. And 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 like I said, I got to think about it. You know, there's only one thing that, that really is worse than that. And that's when a guy says to me, and it happens fucking plenty. I got to talk to my wife about this. That's code for no dick and no balls. <laughs> right? Do you do that? No, but no. Why? Why would they come in? I mean, if they if they don't know they can buy it, that's my thing. Well, they can buy it. it. It's just that they're not they're not committed to buying it, and they're using their wife as an excuse. That's what it is: time wasting, passive aggressive time wasting. Right? Um, it just kind of comes down. To, you know, we're here to help people, and we want people to get what they need. But the time wasting part is 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 hard because we're now in the season. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You and, and now you could be taking time away. Dude, that they could be helping I, other customers. I, I could be. I could be sealing the deal on a fifteen hundred, eighteen hundred, two thousand dollar rod reel and line sale. Right. And then be trying to capture everything that's going on on my floor, bopping around, managing. Right. Doing it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, I put some time into somebody that isn't real. Yeah. That's when it. Yeah. That's when it costs you. That. That's when it's a problem. Right. Yeah, that's got to be the best thing about the the e-commerce, huh? You know, I mean, e-commerce has its moments too. Yeah. But you know, it, raw, when it comes to rod sales, you know, when it comes to the time waster thing, you, you know who the most obvious time waster is with a fly rod sale or lack thereof? A dude that wants to cast it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've sold thousands of fly rods by now and I've probably cast less than three percent of them with people that have bought them yeah a rod's another thing where well mo i guess most most of the fishing things are you should know you know what rod you want you know you might have you know what i mean yeah basically well, before you buy well, before you even come in you most know? people do i think but here, here's here's the bottom line we'll wrap it up with this shit All right the moral of the story is from memorial day to labor day don't waste our time it's a critical time for us to capture our business during yeah, our season yeah. right and I know you got all fucking Saturday off because all you got to do is go back and work the flower beds a little bit, right? But we're fucking busy, all right? So be conscientious of your fly shop, dude. 
Anything else? No, that was well said. Everyone comes in at the same time. Everybody, yep. That's well. That's <laughs> like bonefish pot. I mean, they, that's exactly how it is. It's like nobody for a half hour, and then eight people yeah. all needing help at once. So anyway, well, thank you, brother. Thank you. You betcha. So uh, don't uh, waste your fly shops time this summer. All right. Peace out. See you.